definitely kind of unexpected. I didn't see it coming. Hey fellow forest users and fellow dragons, what is up? It's Jasmine, the Ahsoka Tano fan. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So it's time for episode six now, guys, of House of the Dragon. And what an episode last episode was. What the hell is wrong with Sir Kristen? He just completely lost it. I was not expecting that, but I really appreciate that this show threw a twist at us there. They were definitely hinting at the fact that he and Rhaenyra could end up a couple. And then bam, they just threw that at us. I also did not expect him to admit what had happened between between he and Rhaenyra to Allison, Is Allison gonna share that with anybody or is she gonna kind of keep it to herself and use it at some point down the road? I think that this is the episode where we're gonna see that time jump. It's been talked about a lot. I hope that even though we're seeing a time jump, we could still see some of the immediate aftermath of that pre-wedding uh, celebration. Weddings just never go well. You saw that Alicent was worn by Otto as well to protect her son. That was definitely, I think, foreshadowing a feud between the two of them. The biggest part of the episode at the end there, it looked like the king had died. I read some comments. I know you were saying that the king actually didn't die. So here's the thing. When I watched last episode, I actually did not see previews. So I'm assuming that probably maybe in the preview, they might have shown the king. If that's the case and he is alive, I'm curious to see what will happen with the whole air thing. But it's definitely going to get messy, um, which I love. This is why we watch the show, right? So anyways, guys, I don't want to speculate too much. Without further ado, let's fly into the episode and check out what's in store for us. I must say I'm going to miss the young actresses because they did a phenomenal job. But at the same time, I am looking forward to the older actresses and seeing what they bring to the table as well. I just never get tired of that theme song. So how are we going to start off there? Oh my gosh, that's older Rhaenyra, right? Emma Darcy? Is she giving birth? Oh my gosh, that is quite the time jump. And she also really looks like her mother. The casting's on point. I'm not looking forward to giving birth one day. This is crazy. So is she still wed to Sir Laner then, I guess? It's a boy? The queen has requested that the child be brought to her immediately. What the hell does that mean? And she called her princess, so that means she's not queen. So Alison is still queen then. I'll take him myself. You should remain a bed princess. Yes, I should. Help me dress. Hmm. That's Rhaenyra, all right, determined. Why does Alicent want the baby? Okay, it's the cord. They're clipping the cord. Wow, the cord was still attached to her. That's crazy. Women are strong, man. Going through that. Oh, is it the placenta? A boy. I just heard. That must be Selena, yeah. Just take my arm at the least. Huh. This is interesting. Oh, terribly painful. What do you think? Oh, God. <laughs> I took a laugh through the shoulder once. My deepest sympathies. Oh, don't try and compare, buddy. Please. I'm glad I'm not a woman. I feel so bad for her, though. She literally just gave birth. What could she possibly want? We were past this. I definitely don't feel like they're friends. Selena, it is a privilege to be amongst the first to congratulate you. Thank you, Lord Caswell. Man, she just wants to be in bed. That is crazy that she's up and walking like that. She can come to us, right? Unless you wish to carry me down those fucking stairs. 
the relationship seems entirely platonic. It's so mean that, that Alicent is requesting this. <gasps> he works for Alicent now? I'm curious where the king to see where the king is. Rhaenyra, you should be resting after your labors. Why is she acting like she cares, but why does she want to see the baby so quickly? Indeed, your grace. Oh my gosh, that's the where king. Wait, his arm was amputated, it looks like. He has no arm, right? No left arm. Fine, prince. Sturdy. The babe have a name yet? Well, we haven't stopped. Jeffrey. But you didn't even talk about it. I do believe he has his father's nose. Is she gonna hold him? Did she say that you can walk off with him like that? Do you keep trying, Selena? I get what he looks like. You know what? I wouldn't be surprised if Rhaenyra did what Cersei did, you know? Like, maybe messed around with Damon or something? And that's not really Sir Laner's kid. Just like Cersei and Jaime, right? He's our child, is he not? If any one of us is bleeding. Did you, yeah, did you push that baby out? No. In the affairs of my own family. He seems so interested in our affairs, of late. Oh my god, look at all the blood! Who's that? Wait, mother? That's, wait, is that Rhaenyra's kids too? Those kids? Not every day an egg feeds the dragon pit princess. I thought it best. It will escort the lad. Did they just call her mother? Or is that... Those look more like Allison's kids though. I don't know. Father, please may I hold Joffrey? No. Back to the dragon pit. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. If those are her kids, I am kind of confused as to why they don't look like her or the father. And sleep in front of the commander of the city watch. Terrible lack of respect. A certain insolence runs in the family, I'm afraid. No dragons. He looks like a younger dragon. Like a teenager or something. Those look more like they would be Rhaenyra's kids. Oh, they don't seem very enthused. Siri. Mm. So they're being trained. Oh no, not the sheep. They always sacrifice the sheep, man. Aww. That's Prince Aegon. okay, so that's definitely Alicent's kid. Dracardis Vermax. Is he gonna listen though? Oh man. That's so mean, man. Do they have to use a live animal for that? Like, can they just use, like, literally anything else? Eamon, we have a surprise for you. You're the only one of us without a dragon. Eamon, is that also Allison's son? We found one for you. A dragon. How? The gods provide. There's more to the story. Oh, they're teasing him? The pink dress. Yeah, they're teasing him. I had a feeling. So Aegon seems like uh, not the nicest kid there. Is there another dragon there? Hmm. What's he gonna find? He's a lot bigger than the other ones. Yeah, it's a little terrifying. <laughs> this one has 60 rings and two pairs of legs on each. Oh. It has eyes. I don't believe it can see. It is beyond our understanding. Something's just off. Hmm. So that's her daughter? He did it again. After how many times you've been warned, must I have you confined to your chamber? You gave me a pig! The last ring has no legs at all. <laughs> She's so fascinated by that centipede. You'll have to close an eye. I know it. You won't laugh. Hmm. Are you sure it wasn't our egg on? Put them up to it. It's a wonder to me their eggs ever hatched. Why is that? You know why. He loves that, uh, that, like, model, that sculpture. To have one child like that is a mistake. Three is an insult. I had a black mare once. The stallion was as silver as the moon on a winter's night. And the foal, when it was born, chestnut. So she's implying that it's not the father's kids, I think? Nature is a thing of mysterious works. 
Because honestly, those kids look more like the the commander guy that was holding the kid. The silver stallion. How do you know it was him? Did you witness the act itself? The consequences of an allegation like the one you tore out would be dire. Yeah, something like that's happening. Renera is definitely, I think, hooking up with the commander guy, maybe. Because Sir Lander is obviously into men, right? He's gay. So I don't think they're actually performing the act. Do my senses lead me astray or is everyone else asleep? Dreaming the same way? I mean, it's pretty obvious. Like, the guy is black. Like, you're going to be able to tell. Those kids are going to look like they have black in them. And they don't look like they have an ounce of black in them. So obviously it does not look like his kids. The Princess Rhaenyra is brazen and relentless. A spider who stings and sucks her prey dry. Spoiled cunt. Ah, screw you. You're just upset. Because she rejected you. Um, what the hell? Is this Aegon? I bet you it is. Oh my god, this is reminding me of Homelander, guys. If you know the scene I'm talking about, you know it. I can do whatever the fuck I want! <sighs> the pig. Was it your plot? It's a young Joffrey in the making. Do you think Rhaenyra's sons would be your playthings forever? And Jocera's Targaryen would be her heir. If Rhaenyra comes into power, your very life could be forfeit. Mm. She could move to cut off any challenge to her succession. Then I won't. You are the challenge, simply by living and breathing. Yeah, she's right. That's what her father told her. You are the king's firstborn son. Except one day you would be our king. What a disaster that would be, man. This kid does not seem like he's got a good head on his shoulders. I still can't believe he was doing that. Well, I guess he hasn't. They wouldn't have had to worry about cameras during those times. <laughs> He's on this dragon now. Is Damon? It is. Damon's one of my favorites, actually, in the show. Oh, and um, Lena. Is she still the same actress from the last episode? Oh no, she's different. Interesting. Oh, that kind of sucks for the other actress though, because she was only in what, like one episode? At least Millie Alcock got to be like in the first five episodes. She got ripped off, man. So I'm guessing Damon and Lena are they? Fortunate in our cook, Your Excellence. A toast. Egg on the Conqueror. Two eggs on the Conqueror. He wants to be the next Egg on the Conqueror. I wish to offer you a permanent residence here in Pentos, along with its farms and lands. Okay, so those were Damon and her kids, right? You would have your freedom of the city and the harbor, as befits. Seems like a pretty good offer. Your family has dragons. Three now, mayhaps four in the future. And she's pregnant. Okay. Your Excellence, we are travelers. We've already extended our visit here. Man, he just has that look in his eyes. Matt Smith, he plays Damon so Tomorrow well. Will certainly entertain. Like you never exactly know what he's thinking. We are without responsibility. Political scheming. They are using us. It's refreshing, isn't it? <laughs> we have dragons, they have gold. We don't belong here. Valeria is gone, we don't belong anywhere. Damn. I want my daughters to be raised in their homeland with their family. And at my end, I want to die a dragon rider's death. Not that of some fat country lord. Hmm, it's like he's not even considering her feelings. He just seems so unbothered, I don't know. This training kind of reminds me of uh, Game of Thrones. This is the stuff line off. Lads of oh man, together. the king is looking rough. Damn. Don't stand too upright, my prince. You'll get knocked down. I just completely don't like Sir Kristen anymore. <laughs> oh my gosh, is he looking at the girls? My opponent sues for mercy. He definitely is giving me Joffrey vibes. Yeah, that guy. I think that's the guy that Rhaenyra hooked up with, I'm pretty sure. Like, the kids look like his. He's not even trying. It seems the younger boys could do better with a bit of your attention. He's favoring Alicent's kids because he just hates Rhaenyra. Who's far with that gun? Eldest son against eldest son. It's hardly a fair match. I know you've never seen true battle, sir, but when Steelers draw a fair match isn't something anyone should expect. Engage. So Kristen's a piece of work, man. 
Mm. This is so funny, man. Like, none of Rhaenyra's kids have the blonde hair. I'm dying. <laughs> What's this, Cobra Kai? Strike first, no mercy? This is what you teach, Cole. Cruelty. Your interest in the Princing's training is quite unusual, Commander. Most men would only have that kind of devotion toward a cousin or a brother. Or a son. Or a son. Yo, he's too much, man. He's asking to get his face bashed in the way he bashed in the other guy's face. Oh, ho, ho, ho. He a hundred percent asked for that. Though. Uh oh, she has news. There's been an incident in the yard. Is she really going to the yard, or is she going to just meet with the commander guy? Your intimacy with the princess Rene would mean exile and death. It is grace the king. It seems will not accept what is I say. Ah, oh, yeah. As soon as the king dies, they're in trouble. Father. His child. I wish my father affected a similar blindness. Have I not? That's his father? Oh, I didn't realize that was his father. Where have you been? Oh, we can't. Did I mention it? You're in very much pain. What a great husband you are, Sir Leonard. Would you mind, Sir Carl? I would like to speak with my husband. He showed me up. <laughs> I wonder, is it possible that he's into that guy? Are you mad? Do you know what's happened? Dark rumors are hunting us, Leonard. They are our sons. I have played my part here ten years. Ten years, that's how long the time jump is. You do not desert your post when the storm lashes. Yeah. The wise sailor. That's fair. He's the storm as it gathers. He's gonna just abandon her? Is that what he's saying? Leave her to deal with the repercussions? That seems fair. As your princess and the heir to the throne, you are commanded to remain in King's Landing and at my side. Oh, gonna ask for it, buddy. It's been eight years, sweetly. Half of them never do, you know. What? Hatch. He wants you and father, because you have dragons. Mm. If you wish to be a rider, you must claim that right. Your father will tell you the same. Father ignores me. Typical Damon. I wonder what happened to Damon's other girl, the prostitute. He just has this look in his eyes like you never know what he's thinking. Does your brother mention if this one also bears resemblance to the commander of the city war? Yeah. Oh man, everyone knows. I don't know. After what he did to his last wife, I'm not so sure I want to stand close to the edge with him like that. You spend your time in the library. Didn't know I was being so minutely observed. You do not sleep. Well, how can I with you haunting my every move? Damn. Perhaps I do not the wife you would have wished for yourself. Lena. I have made my peace. Heard tale that Lord Grover's son now rules River Run in all but name. Well, he's also a Tully. Yet the Brackens and the Blackwoods will use any excuse to spill each other's blood. This dispute bears looking into. That is easy enough. There is some tension between the two of them now. We should address the latest developments in the Stepstones. I'd never be shut of that blasted place. <laughs> There should have been fortifications built. We cannot afford it. We must consider the cost to our subject. War is greater. Mm. Let us be finished. Well, this is interesting because depending on who takes the throne after, they'll have very different ways of governing. I wish to speak. Be seated. Is she going to say something about the rumors? I don't think so. Oh, Alison is standing. She's not sitting. I have felt the strife between our families. We were friends. My son, Jocerus, will inherit the Iron Throne after me. I propose we betroth him to your daughter, Helena. Ooh. Let them rule together. A most judicious proposition. Man, the king will just stand by his daughter no matter what. Allison isn't having it. If Cyrax brings forth another clutch of eggs, your son, Aemond, will have his choice of them. Uh, she doesn't look so sure. But she wants Aegon to be heir. Is she bleeding? Oh no, she's leaking. Oh. Seven Hills. Honestly, what's the big deal? Like, the girl just gave birth, so what? The proposal is a good one, my queen. You may do as you wish, husband. When I am cold in my grave. Be careful what you wish for. <laughs> yeah, she doesn't want to do that because that will weaken her son Aegon's claim to the throne, kind of. I do not need the blame. 
She's giving it to him anyway. <laughs> Your Grace, I feel it. Don't talk about the rumors now. I have come to resign my position as Hand of the King. What? My son, Hoenn, has disgraced himself. He's been expelled from the city, Arch. That seems punishment enough. Forgive me, Your Grace, it is not. Your advice has been sage. Unlocked by self-interest. Stands in contrast to all others. Ouch, including Allison's father. But there is a shadow over my house, and it grows. What is this shadow? Name it if it casts such a gloom. Don't you name it now. You must have your reasoning in plain language. Oh, Alicent. She's kind of trying to start something here. Because she knows what it is. She wants him to say it. I cannot. Then I cannot accept this. My dear husband. I said no. You will continue in your service to the crown. Damn. The complete opposite of Otto. Then ask leave to take my son from court and escort him back to the family seat at Harrenhal. So with Otto, it's like his judgment was compromised. And he did not resign on his own, rather he was let go. This guy knows his judgment might be compromised and wants to resign, and then now the king's not letting him. Hmm. I wonder if she's gonna talk to him. Oh, Lord, uh, I forgot his name. Laris. That's the other son to the hand of the king, right? They're not having an affair, are they, these two? With my father. He attempted to resign his post. He knows something, doesn't he? My lord husband refused to accept. Then he fell short of confessing my brother's transgressions. With his eruption in the yard, your brother all but confessed the truth himself. Lord Lionel is to escort Sir Harwin back to Harrow Hall. I bet you while he's gone, a bunch of shit's gonna go down. It is now that I must rue the absence of my own father. You cannot say, my queen, that your father would be impartial in this matter. No, but he would be partial to me. Yeah, nobody's on her side right now, really. Who are they going to visit right now? Who's in prison? A murderer, a deviant. You can sentence to death by hanging. Why does he seem kind of cruel right now? I am prepared to offer you mercy if you're prepared to pay a little price. Wait, I don't understand what he's doing right now. Wait, really? Oh my god, what the hell? Why is he doing that? Oh my god, did we have another Ramsey on the show, guys? Oh my god. Damn, everyone's giving birth in the show. Damn, Lord Laris, what the hell? Why did he do that? She's bleeding, that is not good. Damon's just standing there, like, unamused. Oh, something's wrong with the birth for sure. Child will not come. Is the baby breach again? Like. Queen Emma's case? I couldn't lay open the womb, but I cannot say for a surety whether it lives. Would the mother survive it? No. Man, oh man. So back then, a C-section was a death sentence, basically. What's he gonna do? She's wandering off herself. Well, she's gone to the dragon. Wait. What the? I think she wants to die. Is he gonna do it? What's Damon gonna do? Yeah, she's gonna die right now. And Damon's gonna see it. Ah, <gasps> damn. Just like that? Wow. Oh man. Poor Damon. I think that's the most emotion I've actually seen from him. Damn, they just offed Lena like that. Don't let nobody see you. Stranger. That kid almost reminds me of the little brother in Freaky Friday, the actor. Aw, oh, that's sad that he's leaving, but I guess I just can't afford to have him around after the outburst. Do they know that that's their father? They probably have to know. I hope you found Sal and Strong, my father. Oh, he asked the question. Am I a bastard? You're just gonna tell him the truth? She better be careful that her kids don't say anything, though. I bet you these two are a thing, Sir Lena and this guy. I, I bet you, I just have a feeling. We're finished here, we're leaving. Well, he doesn't want that. I have been undermined. They whisper about me in the corridor as well. Does that mean, is she giving up her position of, as heir? The wise sailor flees the storm as it gathers. Lainey, bring him. Yeah, she knows. We need every sword we can muster. 
She's a pretty good wife to him, though, because she's still letting him do his stuff on the side. She's supportive of it, even though it puts her at risk. So when she said they're gonna leave, does she mean leave with the commander guy? Or... Well, who's looking at them? Wait, are those the same guys? Like the prisoners? They're gonna kill this guy? They poisoned him or something? Oh, gas! Or is that fire? Damn. So what are they, why are they trying to? Is it Rhaenyra's commander guy that they're trying to kill? Man, oh man. What are children but a weakness, a futility? Who's he speaking to, Lyris? You will persist forever to keep you from the dust. Is that commander guy dead? I think so. Hmm. You may know what is the right thing to be done. Love stays the hand. That must be Lena. Yeah. Love is a downfall. Damon's like, what the hell do I do now? A dad. You've heard the stories of Harren Hall, your grace. Blood. She looks pretty sick, actually. And it passes judgment on all who pass beneath its gate. You pass judgment. The queen makes a wish. I did not wish for this i feel certain you will reward me when the time is right uh, so it, it looks like at the end there laris i think his name Lars. looks like he killed his father and his brother two things one i'm thinking what is renera gonna do once she finds out that could definitely awaken something else in her make her really want to get her vengeance especially if she thinks allison has something to do with it but allison's revealing what she did to Lars. she's basically kind of declared war against Venera. She is the one to strike first. I think it also reveals a lot about Lars. He's someone to definitely watch out for. Even from the last couple episodes, he's always been in the background kind of observing. And he's the one who said himself, those that are not invited to speak, like myself, often all we can do is observe. And those are often the people you have to look out for. You know, like the little fingers, kind of the people that you don't really have your eye on. Those are the ones that can definitely kind of creep up on you and strike you when you least expect it. And the ending of this episode shows that. He went to the prison, he got people that were in there, and it looks like he hired them to carry out this act. And I guess he removed their tongues so they wouldn't be able to say anything and thus link it back to him. He's wicked. He's really a wicked person. Um, he definitely is giving me kind of a mixture of Ramsey and Littlefinger vibes for sure. And it looks like Alicent is a little uneasy now too. She's always been saying she doesn't really have allies. She has few friends. So this is someone that's kind of in her court, but he is a dangerous man who has perhaps been underestimated and overlooked and you don't really know where his head's always at so she's got to be careful now for sure let's talk about the rest of the episode in the beginning actually allison's daughter i think helena is her name she was playing with the centipede she was talking about how the last ring has no legs and it'll have to close an eye could the many legs in the centipede reflect the targaryen family a family being very vast of many members the last ring of the centipede that has no legs it'll have to shut an eye i think that could be hinting at the targaryen family could implode on itself and what's going to happen when you get down to those last few targaryens she also mentions how the centipede has eyes but it cannot see i wonder if that's kind of reflective of the king in a way to be honest he can obviously see with renera that her children are not with sir Lenor, but yet he refuses to see the full truth helena also seems to be the most observant of the three kids and very intelligent even the way she was speaking. Whereas if you look at Aegon, kind of seemed a little bit more reckless to say the least. Not really taking his role as potential future king seriously. And he seems like a bully already. Kind of makes you wonder what kind of king would he make. He certainly would not be like Viserys. Viserys seems naive at times, but kind of overall caring and wanting to do the right thing. Interesting dynamic between those kids. The tension is just kind of raised even more now. Not only is there tension involving Alicent and Rhaenyra and then obviously Sir Chris Kristen and Sir Harwin, I believe his name was. But now you got kids in the mix as well who are also fighting with one another. 
As far as Rhaenyra's kids, it kind of goes back to what the king told Rhaenyra a few episodes ago. It's not the truth itself that matters, but rather perception of the truth. And I think because the king chose to perceive it the way that he did, Rhaenyra and Laenor were safe for the time being. What happens when the king passes? All hell is going to break loose. What happens if the perception changes? That's going to put Rhaenyra and Sir Laenor and all her kids in danger. By the end of the episode, she definitely kind of catches on to that and realizes how she's being perceived. And so that's why she left at the end. And they both actually actually said that the wisest sailor flees before the storm comes. What Lord Corliss said a few episodes back was that when a storm is coming, you either have to sail into it or sail around it, but you cannot avoid it. These quotes are kind of opposite one another. Given how the episode ended with Sir Harwin seemingly being killed there, that might force her to have to end up going into the storm. I actually kind of feel for Rhaenyra because the rumors are mostly directed at her. Sir Laner, he's been enjoying like his love life on the side without having so much of the responsibility and it's something that they are in together because yes Rhaenyra is obviously hooking up with someone who's not her husband but at the same time her husband's also not into women so it'd be very hard for them to have a child together so she's kind of having to deal with that and she's trying to let him have his freedom while also trying to produce heirs so I, I definitely feel for her she has a lot on her plate a lot happened with Damon and Lena as well you saw Damon content with just living in a foreign place not being a permanent guest, which is just reflective of who Damon is. He does not care much for tradition. He kind of just does what makes him happy. And he kind of lives very much in the present without thinking so much into the future. By the end there, him seeing Lena die in that way, that was definitely the most emotion we've ever seen from Damon thus far. It also makes you wonder what would he have chosen in terms of whether to try and save the baby and effectively sentence Lena to die or not. We know that Viserys, when faced with the same choice he chose to try and save the baby but with Damon we don't know it's like one of those things that's gonna be unspoken now because we never got to see because she just kind of chose for him almost yeah that scene with Lena was definitely unexpected I didn't see it coming it was sad that she just accepted her fate like that but she kind of knew what was coming I think whereas Emma had remained hopeful that she was gonna be able to deliver still I think that moment between her and the dragon showed that the dragons really are more than just beasts in this show they are like family and you could see See that in the way that he was hesitant to comply with what she wanted. I definitely enjoyed this episode. I will say though, with the new actors, I think it might take a little bit of time to get used to them. I think they're doing a great job so far, but with the story doing such a large time jump after we've had five episodes to become very emotionally invested in not just the characters, but the actors and actresses, I think it might just take a little bit more adjusting, a few more episodes maybe. In a way, it kind of felt like I was looking at different characters, but I had to remind myself they're just different actors. Especially in Lena's case, they changed her actress so quickly and quite often, I feel. In the beginning, they had one actress and then they introduced us to the older actress. I think we only saw her like one episode. And then now she had another actress, older again, and then now she died. It kind of makes it feel as though her character growth was very rushed. At least in Renera's case, she only has two actresses playing her. One for five episodes, another for the remainder of the season. So I think it'll give her character more of a chance to develop. But Lena, they kind of just, I feel maybe rushed a little bit in the end there. We never fully got to know her. And then just as we're getting to know her and see this dynamic between her and Damon and her kids, she gets killed. But then I guess you could also say that the queen, Emma, died in the first episode as well. So she didn't have much of a part. And the other minor criticism I would say about this episode was the king was still alive after last episode. Reason I say that is because the way the last episode ended, and I talked about this in my video, it was so impactful the way that he just collapsed, it was silent, the camera panned out, you saw a pool of blood. Um, it was just very emotional and kind of shocking. That really would have been such a monumental death, you could say. Whereas now that he's alive in this episode still, and not just alive, but 10 years later, I think it kind of takes away from that scene a little bit. But anyways, still overall, great episode. I'm looking forward to seeing more of what the new cast has to offer and also the kids, what their conflict's gonna be like and watching them grow. You guys let me know in the comments down below as always what you thought of the episode and don't forget to leave a like and subscribe guys And I will see you for the next episode of house of the dragon until next time guys take care and see you soon